bird on a tree. Hi everybody, this is Miss Brown and Feather, and today we're going to be making some cool flowers, and they're going to be blog flowers, but it's for the kindergarten, first and second grade. Just follow along and I think you'll have fun doing it. One thing you will need help with probably is either you can leave it to dry before we do some of the black line, or you can um, have somebody help you dry it with a hair blower or something. Anyway, have fun. Okay, so what we need is a piece of art paper or some watercolor paper and some brushes and some paints. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, brush, it's kind of a medium sized brush, swirl it around in the purple, and I'm going to add a lot of water because I want this to be a water blob. So here's my first one, I'm just making a nice circle there. And make them pretty big, don't make them too small. So here comes another one, make another water blob. I think I want this one to be a little bigger and have them even touch each other. It's kind of cool. And I'll make another one down here. Now you, I like to make groups of odd numbers, like three or five. Sometimes I'll do two and four, but most of the time I like my numbers to be odd. So these are some odd numbers. This is three. Now I'm going to wash my brush and wipe it off. Okay. And then I'm going to get some green. And the green is going to be my leaves and my stem. So I'm going to make my leaves kind of go like this. Not very complicated. And then maybe I'll bring it down through here. Bring some up. And you can do this as carefully or as messy as you want because it is going to be defined later with a marker. With a sharpie. Now if I want it to be darker green, I can just add a little more green to it. I might just do that to the side of it. Make it look like there's a little bit of, a, of a, some light going on here. And there you go. Then I'm going to spatter paint it. So I'm going to take my uh, brush and I'm going to pick up some wet paint and another brush or a pencil. Let me do a pencil. And then I'm going to bang the pencil and get that paint all over it. And just make a big spattery cool mess all over my picture. It's going to look pretty spiffy. wanted to, you could add a little green to that spattering. I think I want to add a little green to it too. I also like yellow because it seems like every picture looks better with just a splash of yellow in it. And that's truly a splash. There. Now, I'm going to go dry it with my hair blower. Okay, so now that I've got it dried, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black Sharpie. Now you can use the black Sharpie or you can use um, this black marker, either one. I like a Sharpie because it doesn't bleed. So 
I'm going to take and I'm going to draw around the flower. I'm going to start in the middle, very small, and then I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to go all the way out to the outside. See, I think I'll let it pass over that one. There. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom part. Now I'm going to make some leaves and it's going to be kind of abstract looking. All you do is make the blob and then you just put some green stuff on there and then you can just make the leaves look like leaves. I like it. All right. Make sure when you're finished that you upload it to Art Sonia and you can get your parents to help you if you don't know how. <laughs>